Hello and welcome to my coding session. This is a recording of my coding session for the implementing a JavaFX application, which is a application for managing XML files, which are consist of satellite channel information. And yeah, here it goes. So basically, last time I did show you this diagram. Once again. The problem is in to transfer the data from the JDOM document to the appropriate models which I have created and tested. And basically it is it should be split like this that uh, my set services model calls my builder class for the set services and this set services builder creates a set of a, of a services for the each of the satellite but in order to do that it should create first a corresponding transponder list which should consist a corresponding list of TV channels and basically where I will start I will start from the smallest part of all of the thing and go from right to left so it goes my Development goes in this, from this uh, class to to the following class, from the smallest part to the biggest one. So now, let me just quickly switch to my Eclipse. What I need in order to do that? First of all, I need my test, and because that I am writing new kind of test I first of all before I create a new test class I need to have an example how to read my JDOM document so set model test and model class should I should open them and yeah, clips taking some time Okay, so now I need to open my set services set set model. I think it should be set model. Yeah. All right. So and once again, let me just quickly run all of my tests here. The time now that is working. That nothing. Nothing was broke and. I didn't work with this class a lot of times, but it's always good to check it out before you can think, before you view file in any way. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that I have passing test. Yep, I have here passing test. So now I need to create a helper reduce this reduce. Ah, okay. Alright, so basically what I need to do, I need, so I will work with my builder classes. There are, can say, other models, I'm not sure. So. Let me just create another package. I need to structure my code. So I need to create a package. And I will call this package like builder tests. And it will consist of a test unit J unit test for my builder classes, which I will use. And now I create a new J unit class and let's just do this. So as I said earlier, I need to create a builder class for my TV channel list. Now I need to to decide what I pick for the proper appropriate name for my TV channel list. Let me just write following um, set 
TV channel builder test pretty obvious now I create this file and I need to write my first failing test that should be pretty easy um, pretty, pretty pretty easy copy that insert here and I just need to create testing if set TV channel builder object exist and what what I need to do I need to declare this class set TV channel and I have many channel set TV channels builder set TV channels builder basically because I have many and then basically should rename my class because I am testing that I can create many channels and this will be a proper proper name Set TV channels as and I hope I did spell it right uh, let me just quickly get, get. so spelling sometimes is a problem for me but channel transponder okay that's right so C H A N N E L Right, so this should work. And here I need just to set TV channels builder, and I'm decla declaring here an object set TV channels object obg. Let's just make it small, and I need my setup, and this will go as it as you saw previously just like that here I'm using before each and I need to write my setup but like this and here I'm creating um, a new set TV channel builder class instance now let me just write it here new and then like this so so let's just create this class and now I just need to create I will basically mirror some sort of my J unit cases I mean structure I create new package and I just write here builders because I like it to keep it separately builders and then in the builders package I create this class in other class and just give it a name all right so here you have is a class and now I just need to create a proper import so let me just click the why it doesn't like it. Result to a type basically it should work right now. Let me just close it. Close the error delete error message. I will delete all the error message. Sometimes scripts um yeah give make a problem but let me just open the once again the class set CV channel builder test and now I can run my test and it should pass yep I have a passing and this was pretty basic stuff for the set TV channel now 
what I should do and check next. So basically in order to, to work with information which I have which I have a need to I just need to look up my JDOM XML reader from another project and just to recapitulate how the parsing of the document happens let me just do I did pick up wrong document yeah. so the, this is basically a prototype class from which I look up the iteration over the JDOM document let me just quickly run it yeah it's uh, for the another uh, the XML file but anyhow yeah it should work so basically in order to be able to process information which I need I have to work with uh, to to le no third level zip I need to read the read the file I need to process the file and yeah let just let just do following so I have to create a class which reads an XML file then it creates JDOM document then it should then then I get a hold of the JDOM of the read of the JDOM document then I go deep into the JDOM document and read the third third level of information and what I mean by that I just mean simple stuff actually because I need to go this is one level deep Two level deep and three level deep it is here. This is what I'm actually about because this is actually a, a channel which I need to read from. And basically, basically what I need to work, I have here my util. Util basically it's a, it's a utility class which just give me some simple stuff I'm kind of thinking about to create separate class because it is will be more efficient because I just need to work only with one case it's kind of design decision but this will basically goes like this mm, I need to create in helper utils a class and this is I'm creating in my in my SRC test Java so it's basically separately from my production code now what how I should name it um, read XML and return no read XML and create JDOM with channel information yeah this will basically uh, some sort of a dummy because I don't know yeah I can use my I can actually reuse and I can actually reuse the stuff from my production code I don't need to write it two times. This is what I'm talking about. But I will create this class and 
this what should what this class should do I need to call my XML reader and after that I will get a JDOM document from this and I need to I need let me just write some comments so get hold of get hold of JDOM document JDOM document then I need to get hold of third level third level information third level info and from that point I can read JDOM document and create and actually create sat set information and sure I need to decide from which of the satellite I need to get this information and once again let me just quickly write some code so before I do that I need to write here a string and what it should do what it should do so path to XML let me write a constructor because I need to initialize it and you will ask why don't you write test for this because this is not in the production code and it's a kind of a dummy and I will basically create some sort of some sort of a dummy. Doesn't need to, to be tested. Just just simple throw throw it away class which I need to for, for, for my for my test which I create. This is some sort of a helper class. And here I need to initialize it this path to XML and I will just basically reuse some stuff for my set model test and this will be like this and of course I don't need a, an XML I just need a services and let me just quickly copy the name copy the name and now I, I need to pass the name of the XML so now this variable is set up let me just create getter and setter for the case where I need it Refactor source getter on setter done. Now what I need to do next? I need get hold of a JDOM document. So I need to work with uh, I need some I need to work it out so I need to just look it up my set model so basically where I'm standing input path you see so basically I need to write such of such of code and check which is was created basically I can actually status okay 
So let me just copy this code. And now I just need to work it. So I'm I'm kind of I'm going to show what I'm doing. Yeah. So let me just work it through. So I need to set up a variable here which will represent get document from DOM parser set it then document so basically looking up all needed stuff for let me just look it up. Set JDOM document. I don't need it private. Well, basically, it doesn't matter. I just need to write getter and setter. Let me just put here the comments. Mm, okay, so now just for iteration, what I'm actually trying to do. So I will call this method and basically it will give me, it will read. Let me just quickly think of path to XML. So the input path, ah, okay, so I'm, I'm actually, I don't need this, I can, let me just do following. Okay, this, get, and I will get from the constructor, get path to XML. And this correspond to my getter which I have set up previously. Alright. So I will just read this line. It will read this line. And call the XML reader. And if my XML reader can read it, I will get some result it will be a boolean value and I mean the XML reader status here is a boolean value which I compare and if this is true I get hold of a JDOM document so now basically this is what I'm this is basically what I am getting off and now I just need to verify that I got that I'm similar reader status true true here I'm just checking what kind of uh, result did I got maybe it's redundant but let me just quickly think. So I'm getting the JDOM document. Here I setting setting up my JDOM document with this setter. And after that I'm verifying verifying once again that I got my document. Do I need this return? Actually I can leave 
I can live without it. And I just need to write here void. And basically, I don't need this. And so simple like this. Now, this method should be should be first, which I can call. Just me just write here call this lm um, method method first. And now I just need to be able to to get third third level of the JDOM document and how how it will work you will ask me so basically basically what I need to do I need to do following so I need to write here a method which gets an access to the <clears throat> okay so I'm just thinking about it so I don't need to get all of the list which I have here. Um, <laughs> I need I need to create a method which send me I need to create a method which just read an XML and gives me a handle to the third level. That's it and what how i should be able to do that let me just quickly format it so basically i need to write a method which should return me a list of transponders for the for the three satellites I don't like the idea. So here I'm iterating over my one level deep. And this call this method is called in here I'm iterating over this first level. <coughs> Let me just think it out. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I did post. So basically, I did done following. So now I have written some sort of a testing method for my helper object. And here it works like this I have a helper object from which I call my read and setup, do setup DOM document. I should rename it. I should actually rename it. Let me just quickly go to it. Refactor and rename. So here I am basically reading my XML. It should work. Let me just put it through. Yep. It refactoring currently so I'm reading JDOM document I'm creating I'm I'm reading throughout this JDOM document and at the end I getting my TV channel list and this is rather con concrete material because I need to do to use it for my set TV channel builder test unit test so I'm actually like preparing the ground for my builder builder class 
now you see it works and let me just get through it so first I looking up I'm calling this read and set up JDOM document I'm reading here I'm reading here the XML after this I'm calling I'm printing out the output so I know that I have read the XML so basically I don't need this I can uncomment this and after that I'm calling another method from the helper object it's a read JDOM document and create third level element list and this is what I'm actually looking up for and this was quite of tedious um, work but in any way let me just delete this let me just get over it so I'm reading here a JDOM document I'm getting the root of the JDOM document and first of all here you have here iterating over first level XML and looking up for a special SAT name so I just pick up uh, this satellite name and this is uh, actually the part from the satellite which I am looking up and from there I got my transponder elements and transponder elements this is this transponder element and after looking up this transponder element I got another level of the XML so I'm from this point I'm working with this element and now after doing this I looking up for this special transponder so I got a transponder list actually and transponder element list and I looking up special transponder here here I'm looking up for special transponder get a whole of transponder and here I'm iterating over this transponder and I have in mind special transponder and here I'm actually picking up the special transponder and the result is a two level deep intersat so I'm, I'm picking up special element which is a one transponder and then after that it's then simple job I need to iterate over the result so here I'm iterating over the second level XML and I'm getting the result set which is a list of the set TV channels and this is what you actually that you actually seeing when I execute this method yeah so now I can work with this and I don't need the output let me just uncomment the stuff I don't do I need this is just simple so check and output yeah I don't I can uncomment this and yeah I can leave it but I don't need to run to run this test let me actually to disable it disable I think it's a proper notation can I disabled oh sorry <laughs> disable so now when I run this G unit it should go should get only one running test one skipped okay so it runs it it, it skips one test it's in this this, this should be sufficient all right so 
now when I have done such job you ask me why you did so much work just only to be able to do that well I always like to work with the mock-up objects I didn't think about to use a Mokito or something uh, other mocking up framework because it gets in the way but I rather work it out like this and actually can close it so basically the next move is to start to work with my production code now the next test what it should be uh, the next test f goes like this I'm passing the values to my builder object builder object let me just draw it all on the whiteboard so now I need to test my builder object for my city which you know builder list and this is this goes like this here is my JDOM JDOM oops was unexpected uh, JDOM um, with the contents of contents of channel list this is what I'm actually getting and I expect that I will pass to my builder class a list of elements which contain uh, which will contain a channel information and this will be like following I have my so I basically need to write here my this is my builder builder set TV um, set TV channel builder and this builder class builds for me the appropriate channels and basically it should do following it should create many 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 channel objects say TV channel objects let me just I'm drawing actually the actions of my class it creates many say TV channel objects and all of these objects uh, they are packaged in the list so and end result is a list of set TV channels short short form to hand and this is what I'm actually expecting to do. Now, how I should process it? I hope it, it's clear what my builder class doing. I'm getting the JDOM document with the contents of channel list, and I'm creating set TV channels, and the final result is a list of set TV channels. Now let me just go to my clips and write another test so basically mm, what should I test let me just write here test void and I'm just thinking about how I should do it let me just quickly look up my CTV channel and I know that I need to 
be cautious about some range range stuff and now I just need to look up my services I'm looking up my services in the PDF so basically channel service channel service channel service uh, channel Alice all in the line is for one special satellite uh, channel sorry so information about the satellite is following like this I have service ID name and service type service service ID is unique as I said earlier in my previous coding session uh, the name it can can happen that it, it is repeating one I'm just thinking about what I need to check before I create my channel set channel information type service type I think service type isn't I think actually I'm not I'd, I do not have a need to check it up when I creating this following content or do I need to check it up hmm what I have here in my so service type is the type of, of the byte and I have here okay so it can be no I think I will just leave it like this and deal with it later service ID channel name so it goes like this so I need to verify check if now I need to write set info check if set info no, what what I'm working with set TV channel check if set TV channel list and can be created can be created And it goes like this basically I'm asserting that I get it not now not now and what I do I need to read up and set up my JDOM document And after that, I need to get hold of a list of channel set TV channel list. And now I need to call this uh, set TV channel object. I'm I'm expecting actually to get a list of CTV CTV channel list element CTV channels this is what I'm actually expecting to get and why I did write it in the, as a global variable do I use it anywhere ah it's a different type of list okay so okay so this would be like here and I just need to get hold of set TV channel and now I just need to write here list of set TV channels 
and I hope it works. Um, now, here I need to I need to verify at the end that this satellite that this list of satellite TV channels isn't now. I need to work it out. So it's basically writing a failing method back to the TDD TDD. And helper object. What? Why I need this? I need this. I don't need helper object anymore. I need my set TV channel list here. And of course, I need to pass it to some of sort of variable. Yeah, it gets some sort of confusion. So uh, I need to rename it because it's confusing name. Set TV. Set TV channels builder object. Ah, okay, so basically, let me just quickly fix it, uh, because Eclipse doesn't like it. Uh, okay, not a problem, not a problem at all. So here I'm just writing build list of set TV channels, and that's it, pretty simple. And I just need to pass my uh, list. No, I mean need to. I just got myself into the trouble. Um. Yeah, it happens. Like this. Now I can rename it. Builder object. Now it, it has a proper name. So I'm getting the list of set TV channel of the data type set TV channel and set TV channel builder object. It need it. Be, I need to pass a value, of course. Set TV channel list, which is a elements JDOM elements. Now it's probably is right, so it should it should fail. I'm expecting that it, it 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 should fail. Yeah, it fails. Right. So I need to write a, me a method which gets the list of the gets a list of elements and creates a list of set tv channels let's create this method all right so and this is basically one of the things which I like about TDD. Now, in, to be able to do that, what should I do next? Uh, basically, it is pretty simple stuff. So, I'm iterating over set TV channel list. I need to to think about mm. 
Okay, so I, I need to create here a local local list of CTV CTV channel result list of CTV channels. I think yeah, I will initialize it with a false uh, with a null. And now I need to do following. Basically, basically what I am doing. Let me just quick, quick think about. I need to iterate over set TV channel list. After uh, during the iteration. I need to add element to the list and after that I assign my result assign result to result list and after that actually I need to return to Actually, I don't need this variable. I don't need it. And I have then only few steps. And let's just try it, uh, to do this. So, it is have similarity to my set model. I think it is li like this. So, let me just write my and here I write here JDOM JDOM set TV channel set TV channel uh, list and I'm using this for following list and here I'm need to loop over it ah forgotten I need to add of course I need of course I need a result list oh my god um, so I need actually this helper variable so I see it's almost at one hour <laughs> I try to keep short my session, but I just need to pass my test. And I need to write result list of set TV result list of set TV channel channels. I have many channels and assign now. All right, so let's just do it. Now, here I'm getting this JDOM TV channel list, and this is an element which is actually this is a this is an element which consists of service ID, name, service type. So let me just copy this line. And after that, I will do following. So, J Dome Set TV Channel List and J Dome Set TV Channel List is get attribute value, get attribute value. No, it's wrong. I need get attribute get attribute value string I'm I'm getting the following string so first of all I'll just write the stuff which I need to work with 
and following here I'm just I know it's kind of breaking the code but let me quickly write the stuff you will understand it what I'm doing later so I'm just getting the right syntax to get hold of our values so here I name did I copy it okay so I just need to cut it out all right service type now I get hold of, of a value and now I need to assign the value and I need to, to, to make some conversion so what I need what I'm actually need to integer input service ID let me just do things like this uh, name name what I have in my set just quickly save it ah, I forgot to yeah I need to multi catch just forgot to <laughs> just forgot to write it uh, and of course I need to get hold of my yeah I don't like it to work like 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 this mm. so anyway I did fix my test case just quickly and what I should do next I need to get over my set model and just look it up so and set TV channels no set TV channel so set TV channel use string the service ID it used channel name and ah this is even better so basically now I need to to do a conversion I need string I actually don't need um, I'm using actually string for service ID interesting so I just need to do I don't need any value actually for this type of stuff and input service ID let me assign here some value now here name string channel name now next part will be byte here I need to assign some uh, value input service type here I will assign some value just for the sake of it and here do the following now let's look it up so I, I can delete it I don't need this stuff now it looks even better but I should do not forget to to do some conversion so here I need to do a conversion I need to input service type and here I need to write following byte parse uh, like in my example previously parse parse and here I need to write basically parse byte and So now I get hold of all of these values 
and I need to add element to the list so here is my list and I'm basically using it add and now what I'm do I should do here I need to create new set TV channel and this should consist of a values input service ID and input channel name input service type alright so it's ok set TV channels set TV channel service ID ok so it's, it, it's matching my constructor I'm matching my constructor and now I need to return it and now I return the value Ah, okay so basically and I am not saving the set TV channels I'm not saving the results builder just gets hold of information creates the list of TV channels and give us give us away this is what I'm actually striving to achieve and the information about null pointer access uh, I don't like it and maybe I shouldn't assign an null initialize variable but it gives me a point a null point to x the variable result of only be a null at this location I don't think this is a uh, good what he gives me let me just think about I just I think I just suppressed at this point the warning yeah. let's just run my test and I and if I pass my test this should be sufficient for me let's just run the test Yep, I got the no point exception. All right, so hmm, okay. Then sometimes I can be wrong. Okay, this is not a problem. And maybe when I don't assign a value, so I have no assignment for this value, and he gives me a pointer. So. He doesn't like it and what I should do new list of set TV channels basically this is what it is expecting to get let me just pause just forgot that uh, <laughs> list is a, some sort of a abstraction. Um, let, you, let me just quickly. Yet yeah, sometimes things like this can happen. Um, even even with me. So why did why it did happen? It happened because 
this is an interface and you cannot you cannot use this in such a way but okay I learned my lesson it's it's good for me and now I corrected my mistake was pretty obvious I did have test failing test now it should work let's, let's just run it and look it up it pass it pass it pass and if somebody say yeah but what have you for of the values let's just quickly let's just quickly sh look at it and I just need to write here to string now I just need to quickly run my test and this, this should be sufficient and as you see channel name service ID and that's it this is what I'm expecting to see pretty 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 I'm satisfied with my result so now I can uh, create the list of CTV channels with the condition that I am giving a list of elements from my JDOM document which consists of such elements. And that's it uh, for this time. Now let's just look at up what I have created. So basically I'm at this point. I tested my TV channel list. Builder class, I mean I tested my builder class for for TV channel list. And second move will be to create builder class for my transponder list. And then I need to get a list of my transponder and after that I need to save the, the transponder list to my set service set. It will be fun. I think this, this will be fun because now where I know how to create a TV channel list I can basically easily do for transponder list. But this is for the another time and thank you for interest in my smart small small <laughs> kind of small pet project i hope you learn uh, some information and stay tuned it it continues thank you all bye bye